so I know I need to get a mic so you guys can hear me better. So I just wanted to broach a bit of a subject and that is That's one reason our puppies bond to their humans so well. I mean, they do fine with other dogs too, but they really do bond with their humans. And that's what we want. And they're so used to being handled from the day they were born until they go home. They're handled every day. So that's, they want to be handled. They want to be not necessarily held. Some of them will climb up in your lap and some of them don't. And that's kind of a personal thing with them too. Um, anyway, just kind of weigh in on some people want to think they know and they can think whatever they want to think, but I have raised over 150 personal, personal, personal Bull Mastiff dog, pet from infants to adults until they either died at my house or cycled out of the program being spayed and placed in a home. So I've done this over 20 years. I think I could speak a little bit to this. Um, anyway, I've been doing this longer than some people have been alive. Uh, this is not my first rodeo, okay? Not to be prideful, I'm just saying, I think I can speak to uh, someone erroneously, and, and this is another thing, people want to think that um, this is Disney World and there are no crates, and there are, I mean, I've had people hate on me that my dog was in a crate, there are no crates, there are no pins, there are no boundaries, they're just, everybody's free, well, that doesn't work either, 
doesn't work in real life. It doesn't work in your structure. It just doesn't work. And so, yes, the puppies have boundaries. Yes, there are places they can go. There are places that they're not allowed to go for their own safety. And that's a good thing. So, and people that just want to pretend like mice talk and rabbits wear clothes, maybe they do in heaven, but they don't here. That's uh, Disney World, okay? That's not reality. So, let's not make our puppies human. Let's not put that on them. And let's take good care of our puppies and um, kind of get a grasp on what is real and what is not. You don't want your puppy staying with you necessarily until they're 12 weeks old. And if they do, you need to separate them from the other puppies. They don't need to be no breeder is going to keep their puppies until they're 12 weeks old unless they did not sell them or they are little tiny dogs that are only going to be 5 or 10 pounds as an adult like a chihuahua. You will want to keep a you know puppy longer than 8 weeks old because they're probably not 2 pounds at 8 weeks old. So you might want to keep a Yorkie or a Chihuahua a little bit longer, but that's not the case with these big bull mastiffs. And I am to where I'm going. I came out to the cemetery today. You see that? And we're going to get out and go for a little walk here at the cemetery because we love our evening walks and it's five o'clock. So, 4.58. We're going to jump out and get us a little walkie walk. And I've got my taffy and legend with me. Oh. 